Hello people of YouTube, um, this is going to be a video for you today, a tutorial video of how to take your controller apart and also an unboxing video of some new parts I've got for my controller. So we're going to head over to that now, uh, I'm just going to take took the camera over, uh, let's make sure it all lines up. Oh, this, this little dial has gone loose, okay, so, so I'm going to do my little, uh, let's try and get this camera lined up, so it's the first time I've done this, so. Yeah right. Um, this is as you can probably see here the controller I first done. Uh, it has the custom thumb sticks and D pads, and also the guide button, as well as the, the uh, bumpers, and also the tie at the bottom down here. And all these parts came in this box here from uh, Rewind Bits. You can search them on. Um, you can search them all on Google or just search custom things and I think they come from the top. So the unboxing we're going to do today, which I haven't actually seen so I don't have all of the right stuff, but we're going to make sure it's another box from we want bits here. And also it's the first order for awkward customs. Um, and it arrived just a minute ago, so yeah, we're going to do open this here. You get the receipt and the nice little business card. And then this is the stuff we've ordered. So I ordered a um Order. Yes, I ordered a uh, like triggers, bumpers, uh, thumbsticks set, and also the uh, gradient ABXY buttons as well. Uh, the only thing I forgot to order was the guide button. So what I might do is um, if I just move this box out of the way here because these are the parts we need. I might um, take the orange guide button out of here because I'm thinking of having an orange, uh, completely or spray painted orange or yellow controller. So we might go for the uh, orange, yellow and green look on this controller here. So first of all what you're going to need to do is I'm going to move this camera in front of me. Is uh, You're going to need to take this controller apart. So uh, the best way to do this is if I go in this box here. They, uh, 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 at Rewind Bits they give you uh, the option of to buy a, uh, see this is all the old bits from my old controller. Let's see if there is a guide button in here actually. No, there's not. Uh, yeah, I need this screwdriver. I'll show you what all these tools are. Well. They give you in my first order. They gave you gave me. I can't even get out of the box. Uh, this for free, which is a um, T8 Allen key. So uh, the Xbox controllers are made with special screws in these holes here, uh, which normal, what tiny little um, what is it? Uh, the cross whatever the shape it is screwdrivers won't actually. I'll show you here won't actually fit into them whereas these ones here they fit in uh, nice and easily and use unscrew to take them off so but I don't really like that so I bought myself an actual with a, a handle so uh, first thing you want to do is take the battery pack off my controller just falling off the table not my controller my camera just falling off the table uh, yeah, so you want to take the controller off and then there will be a sticker which looks like uh, that sticker just back there uh, which I've already taken off this one stuck in that box uh, which is just underneath that sticker which is there and you're going to want to unscrew this one first so it doesn't really matter which order you do but I always unscrew this one first because it's the easiest one to forget and it's the easiest one to forget to put back in uh, I tend to also because I'm a little bit of a freak I also tend to screw back these screws in exactly the same way that I uh, put them, take them out so that one would be screw number one and then I'll start down here and go across until we get to these two ones at the top. Now what should I talk to you about? Oh yeah, um, on this channel, MLG Team Freeze, we were going to uh, show you the MLG Anaheim footage, but YouTube have been complete retards, and I'll probably have to make this video into two parts, so um, I'll upload them both at the same time for you guys. Um, is upload, YouTube being complete retards and only giving uh, everybody now, not people with directors, directors used to get longer but um, you only get now get 15 minute um, video length time so like bearing in mind some of the games uh, Anaheim went to uh, it's a best of five in the uh, pool play and bearing in mind some of those went the full length they're over the 15 minutes, they're, some of them are over an hour long so that would mean which I don't mind doing, but it's a bit more hassle. Uh, that would mean about four parts for one game, and that would take my video tally up over the hundreds, which I don't really want to do, because I only really want to post content here that is good for you guys, um, and not complete trash. Uh, so, like, my last channel, IXI Fun Productions, had, like, 150 videos, and, like, 
75 of them, it, like 5 second, 10 second videos, which I don't want to post. This screw is not coming out. Oh, there you go. Might help if the screwdriver is in the screw. Is that out? No. Um, sorry. I'm completely forgetting I'm recording this right. Let's go in there. Oh, there we go. Right. Uh, yeah, the easiest way to get these out, because this, the, the screwdrivers you get and the ones you can buy aren't like normal screwdrivers, but they're magnetic and they'll pick up the... Uh, screws when they're loose, um, I just tend to turn my controller upside down, give it a quick little shake and they tend to fall out of the bottom. So, because um, I haven't actually got spray paint for this yet, um, I'm going to, actually should I do my controller yellow, that is a question, I might do this controller yellow, yeah why not, let's have a yellow controller, we're going to have a yellow and a hand drawn controller. This screw uh, you'll see why I have the tiny little um actually you might not even need it anymore might have taken those screws out. I think I have. Um yeah you uh, I'll show you why you need a you need this screwdriver which is a T8 one which you can find on all uh Google searches to type in if you're on eBay. I've got this one off of eBay for like fifty P which is like what, either a dollar or 25 cents, or well, I don't know how conversions work, but I'm not on. Am I twisted? The question is, like, am I twisting the screw the right way? No, I was, I was twisting it the wrong way. Because I'm retarded like that. But, oh well. uh, so, I do have the first two uh, full videos from Anaheim. Oh, I'm confused about my up here. Should I have five screws yet? I've got first. Uh, I do have the first two full pull, uh, pull play videos from Anaheim, but uh, what I could do is I could just uh, post on my YouTube channel the link of where you can find them all because um, they're quite easy to find, but they've just come off the Game Battles homepage. So some of you may have already seen them on the Game Battles homepage, um, but if not, it took me about 10 minutes to find them this morning because I wanted to carry on recording them just in case you guys thought, actually, yeah, we want to watch them. So, um, yeah, uh, what I'm going to do is, when I've done this and taken it all apart, I'll show you the mechanics of it all and put all the buttons back in, and then what I'm going to do is do a separate video for the triggers, because the triggers are quite difficult to take off, so, and they might take longer than the video, but uh, I'm going to keep this video under 15 minutes, because I cannot be bothered to cut this video down uh, in post-production. I'll do a little bit of post-production before I've got to get rid of a bit of noise removal, which is probably better now, because I'm normally in my room, so you can hear all my Xbox and my... Uh, surround sound wearing away in the background whereas I have a house to myself this week or I've had a house to myself it's now Wednesday so I've got another till Saturday because my parents were I was around for two weeks and then my parents were away so right now all these screws here are undone as you can see I kept these two and all these screws are just over here um, so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to want to kind of wedge the controller apart so uh, it's quite easy to get sometimes what it's easy to do is if you push the uh, triggers down. I've actually got every single screw out. I don't think I have. There's it's coming normally it slips off. That's entirely what she said. But um yeah it normally oh I know why because this controller's dodgy and it takes a bit of manhandling to get it to work. This is not why I got this screwdriver, you'll find out why I get this screwdriver in a sec. But normally your controller will be good and just fall apart. But mine is being a complete bitch about it. Oh, there you go, right, it's slowly coming. I'll, fast, I'll, I'll maybe fast forward this bit if it takes me a bit. There we go, right, there we go. So, yeah, yeah there's the back of your controller off. Um, this is why, because this bit here, these little plastic things, you can see there's one there, there's one there, one there, which is the pain in the arse one on this controller. And this is the same one. Oh, and there's one at the top here, which also holds your middle bar here in. So, uh, yes, this one. Have I got one? Oh, no, I haven't. Uh, right, this one here has been an extreme pain in the arse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording of this, get this bit off because it takes quite a lot of well, effort and it's going to waste the time of the video. So I'm going to pause it now and I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> 